boys, let's go. One day out there, everybody. This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the Nintendo Wii. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell. Be notified every time I make new videos. <laughs> Exciting feature of the channel, you can request your favorite level or your favorite... That means you can request your favorite star or your favorite galaxy in the game in the comments below, or if you want, you can request your favorite world in the game. And also, let me know down in the comments. Also, um, let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. I would really love to know, actually. I'd really, really love to know, um, um, so let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. What is your favorite Wii game? I would love to know. I want to talk about last episode's question of the video. I was asking about what they preferred more between 2D and 3D Mario games. And somebody said they like 3D Mario better because of yes. they like the I can't really remember the reason they said, but I do remember them saying they like 3D more than 2D. All right, here we go. So, ow! What the heck? Alright, so let's ground pound this. We can get some coins here, which is good. We can go here to get a secret star. You transformed into Fire Mario. Shake the Wii mode to shoot fireballs. We can do this in order to go to, um... Here. Okay, so I oh no, I remember these missions, which are the burn the box missions. These are worse than the trash missions from Galaxy One. But to be honest, they're not super difficult if you know how to do it, but it just takes a bit of effort. It, you just have to... What? First try? I know there's a burn the box missions later down in this game. That one is tedious. But this one wasn't that bad. You just have to know how to burn the boxes. Yahoo! All right, so there we go. The only star we have left of this is just the regular star and the comet medal. So we'll go back here and get the regular star and the comet medal. Breaking the laws of gravity. Kind of a cool name for a level, I guess. There we go, we can go here in order to get this. Here's one thing I love about Galaxy 2, is that I love the 2D sections in this game. Even though it is a 3D Mario game, and I, I still like 3D Mario games more than 2D, but here's one unique thing about Galaxy 2. Uh, the 2D sections are really cool. 
I love the 2D sections in this game. The 2D sections in this game are cool. Speaking of 2D sections, I loved those 8-bit sections in Super Mario Odyssey. Those were really cool as well. Alright, so let's do that. Just be careful about that. Where is the common metal? Oh, yeah, if I can find it. All right, where is the common metal? All right, we need to go here. Give me them star bits. So watch out for the thwomps. If the thwomps crush you, it's instant death, just like in Galaxy 1. What? What? I was expecting the thwomp to come, but I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing there. Just... I'm gonna be more careful this time. Metal, pretty easy. That's all you gotta do. I wonder if you can. Oh, you cannot spin attack to break open that. That is redundant. That's pretty redundant. That is redundant. That is just insane. So just be careful right here. Here's the part where the gravity switches to this part where you walk on this wall. All right. All right. Now we just have to watch out for these swamps. This is the swamp chaos right here. As long as you know the pattern of the swamps, they're not the hard to avoid. Are you kidding me? Finally was able to get that star. That's finally what I was wanting to get. Alright, so that's 11 power stars and 6 comet medals and 980 star bits. 
So if I talk to Bank Toad, I want to show you this. So. You can actually deposit star, star bits to the bank toad or withdraw. You can withdraw as well. So I'm going to withdraw 100 star bits. I withdrew. Um, that's how you withdraw star bits. I just want to show you bank toad right there. Now we're gonna do the castle of the first world, which is the castle galaxy. Which is Bowser Jr.'s Fairy Flotilla. Alright, here we go. Gobble Guts Aching Belly. Here we go. Oh, this looks beautiful. I love the graphics in this level, so. I was waiting to do this playthrough ever since I started my new Super Mario Bros. Wii playthrough, really. Listen to this music, it's so epic in so many ways. Ugh. Showing off a little bit of skill right here. Okay. Okay. You can actually do a little shortcut right here if you backflip at the right time. It's not that hard. That's all you gotta do to do that shortcut. And then you can go here to get the checkpoint. At least it's good we have the comet medal. So that's really good. What the heck? What? What was that? All right, so that's uh, that's that's redundant. I just happened to die right there. Okay, so I can use a little trick. I was trying to go for that shortcut over there, but that shortcut is hard to do, so I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. And we can get star bits right here, which is nice. Alright, we can do that. We can backflip over that. Jump, jump! Skadoosh! Whoa, made it this far? Huh? I won't need my dad's help to finish you off. I got a big surprise for you. Excuse me. Oh, gobble gut. Dinner's on. Don't forget to protect your belly ache bugs. Doing this boss is you have to backflip and spin to attack the bulbs on the go gobble gut. That's basically what you gotta do in this boss. It's pretty easy, you just have to do this. Watch out for when he goes under the ground and makes that train sound, and then you just attack these with a spin attack like this. It's very easy, that's all you gotta do. Here is where it gets ticked off right here. So when this happens, you just the strategies you exactly the same. The good news is you can get star bits from him. So just keep running away from him and then he'll go underneath here and then once you get a chance to attack him with a spin attack, go for it. Be careful though because he can do that and it can really be risky if he does that. You, there's lots of ways, risky ways you can, risky ways you can defeat him if you 
time it just right, but it requires a bit of timing and a bit of luck too, so. So just play it safe. Ah! My gosh! Okay, this is probably the most difficult part. The most difficult part is this part, trying to hit him on there, trying to hit the very last ball of And he's out! <laughs> That is world one. And that is the first grand star of the game. Let's backflip into this grand star. A portal to the nice world opened up. Cool. Alright, there we go. I'm not gonna read all of this just cause that's too much to read, so I'll just not even read the text dialogue because I don't think it's that important to read because I know how to play this game anyway. Off to World 2 we go! And we're done with World 1. We're actually going to go ahead and do the first galaxy of World 2 right now. There's a way you can check your progress in this game to see how many stuff you collected. I want to show you. You pause the game, click, see where it says star list. You can see I got every possible thing in World 1 that I could get now, except for prankster comments that will appear later. As you can see. I just thought I'll show you that. that. Puzzle Plank Galaxy is what we're going to do now. The Puzzling Pitcher Block. All right, here we go. Yes. All right, so we ground pound here in order to get some star bits. Pretty easy to do. The green stars in this game, whenever we do the green stars, I do remember having some tough experiences with the green stars in this level. But they're actually not that hard if you know what you're doing, but the green stars is not until later on in this playthrough. We'll deal with that. We'll get to that when we get to that. Right now, we'll just focus on beating the level. Which one do I ground pound in order to make music notes appear? In this game, man, musical notes just like you do in Galaxy 1 and Super Mario 3D Land. And Super Mario Odyssey. I just barely clicked to the mile. So, it, let's ground pound this right here. It looks like we'll get some coins here, so that's nice. Okay. Skadoosh! All right. The Comet Metal. Comet Metal is like somewhat similar to Star Coins. Except 
except the difference is how they look. It's, it's, it's that they have a comment on them that shooting towards a star instead of an actual star be it. Instead of a, an actual star on the coin. What the heck? What? Be careful right here. This part is pretty hectic right here. So be careful. This game is known for having some tricky platforming stations at times. We don't really need the double HP in order to do this boss right here, because this boss is very easy. Basically, what you gotta do right here is you have to ground pound this three times, ground pound the other one three times, and then ground pound the one after that three times. All right, so there we go. Basically what you gotta do with this boss is you have to ground pound the two bugs. It only takes two hits. You have to kill the baby bug and then you have to kill the mama bug. Just like that. Very similar to the second star of Honey Hive Galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy 1. All right, there we go. Hey, looks like there's a few changes onto the world map. Let's t let's check it out. That toad came back with you, right? He sure loves delivering mail. Go ahead and humor him. Um, maybe he's got something for you. Looks like he does. Excuse me, it's a letter from Peach. Anyway, I got one up from that. That's really cool. I love this hub world so much, it's just so cool. Okay, so... It's just explaining how the world map goes and how you would travel between the worlds. I know how to do all this. I don't really have to re read all this because it's just a lot to read, so... Alright, let's do the secret star now. Alright. So we need to do this. There we go. We need to collect quite a few coins, actually, in order to do this one. But I thought I would collect some star bits, too. There we go. So we can ground pound this right here to get star bits. Then we ground pound the up left one to make music notes appear to get some one-ups. One-ups don't save in this game. That's the thing about the game. Just like Galaxy 1 and just like Mario Sunshine in 64, one-ups don't save in these kinds of games. I don't know why that is, but... Mm. 
There we go. All right, we can get some coins here. We can get some here. We can get some star bits here. Alright, so we can definitely get some coins. We have 20. How many coins do I need? I was right, 70. I was right, it is, it is 70. I was right. Alright. We can go here to get more coins, so this is, the, it's, it's kind of tricky to get a lot of coins here just because you do have a short time. You don't have a short time limit, but you do have a time limit. And if you're not fast enough, you can actually miss a lot. But it's easy to do if you know how to do it. It's not that hard. We have 72 coins, and we only needed 70. And let's feed them to this Hunger Luma. And then, there we go! Transform! So basically what you gotta do with this boss is it's the same he's the same thing as what he was in Super Mario Galaxy 1, except the only difference is instead of having the B power up, you have the cloud power up. That's the only difference. It's pretty easy, you just have to just use the cloud power up. Um this boss, um, it's pretty easy, you just have to use cloud power up to defeat it. Intense, I thought it would be. I love Cloud Mario so much. I just love they can create your own platforms in a Mario game. I just think it's awesome. What? What? Oh, this boss is kind of annoying. Kind of. All right, come over here, Bugaboom. What? What? That is redundant. Ah! That was more annoying than I thought it would be.
All right. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell. Be notified every time I make new videos. Have a wonderful evening. Peace, Republic of Speedboy.